ever wondered what makes Amsterdam so special? Wonder no more. It's not just about the tulips, folks. This city has a unique charm that's as intoxicating as a Dutch cheese tasting. With its winding canals, historic architecture and vibrant culture, it's no wonder Amsterdam is a must-visit destination. But there's more. Oh, there's so much more. So buckle up, folks, because we're about to embark on a virtual whirlwind tour of Amsterdam's top 10 spectacular places. First stop, the iconic canals and bicycles. Yes, you heard it right, bicycles. Nowhere else in the world will you find a city where two-wheelers rule the road. It's a sight to behold, a sea of bicycles parked along the canals, a testament to Amsterdam's love affair with the humble bike. Speaking of canals, Amsterdam is often referred to as the Venice of the North, with its labyrinth of waterways winding through the city. But be warned, while the canals are incredibly picturesque, there's a perilous risk of a soggy misstep. Picture this, a leisurely bike ride turning into an impromptu swimming lesson, courtesy of an unexpected tumble into a canal. But hey, it's all part of the charm. The city's heart beats in the rhythm of bicycle bells and the gentle lapping of the canals. So, if you've mastered the art of swimming with your bike, this is the place to be. Next up, the Kuchenhof Gardens, or as I like to call them, Instagram's playground. Now you might be thinking, flowers really? But trust me, these are not just any flowers. We're talking about seven million tulips blooming in a riot of colors, turning the landscape into a living, breathing masterpiece. It's like nature decided to throw a rainbow on the ground and watch it blossom. And it's not just the tulips. There's a picturesque windmill, tranquil ponds and charming pavilions that make you feel like you've stepped into a fairy tale. It's no wonder that Kuchenhof Gardens is one of the most photographed places on the planet. But here's a fun fact. The average visitor to Kuchenhof takes around 200 selfies. That's right, 200. It's like a workout for your selfie arm. So remember to charge your phone before visiting because flower power is real, my friends. Moving on to Dam Square, where even pigeons strut around like royalty. This grand plaza, the very heart of Amsterdam, is steeped in history and teeming with energy. Once a dam holding back the mighty Amstel River, it is now a bustling confluence of locals and tourists, history and modernity. Picture this, majestic buildings that have stood the test of time, whispering tales of the city's rich past, while street performers juggle, dance and sing, filling the air with a joyful cacophony. In the midst of all this, our feathered friends, the pigeons, parade around with a swagger that would put a peacock to shame. They preen, they pose, and yes, they do indeed strut, adding a touch of whimsy to the grandeur. So if you find yourself in Dam Square, embrace its vibrant atmosphere, soak in its historical significance, and do spare a moment for the pigeons. And who knows, you might just find yourself sharing a snack with a regal pigeon. Now, let's take a more serious turn and visit the Anne Frank House, where history whispers in every corner. Have you ever felt the weight of history pressing against the walls? That's exactly what you'll experience in the Anne Frank House. This is where Anne Frank, a young Jewish girl, hid with her family from the Nazis during the Second World War. It's a place that carries a story of courage, fear and hope. Imagine being confined in these very rooms, the outside world a distant memory. Every creak might be a soldier's footstep, every silence a breath held in anticipation. Yet amidst the fear, Anne found the strength to write her famous diary. Her words echo through time, reminding us of the resilience of the human spirit. In the midst of such gravity, it's important to remember, as Anne did, the power of joy. She wrote, I still believe, in spite of everything, that people are truly good at heart. A visit here is a poignant reminder that laughter is indeed our greatest weapon. Next, we visit the Canal Belt, Amsterdam's answer to Venice. Imagine Venice, but with fewer gondolas and more bicycles. Now that's the canal belt for you. Its serpentine waterways, gracefully arched bridges, and picturesque houses leaning precariously over the water create a charming spectacle that's nothing short of a postcard. The canal belt is a watery maze, a labyrinth of delight where each turn reveals a new vista of beauty. It's like Venice, but without the constant fear of falling into a canal. Here, you can stroll along the water's edge, or take a leisurely boat ride, all while enjoying the captivating views. And let's not forget the houses. These aren't your typical homes, oh no. 
These are elegant, tall, narrow structures, each with its own unique personality, standing proudly along the canals like sentinels of history. And the best part? No need to worry about high tide. For the art lovers out there, the Van Gogh Museum is a must visit. This artistic haven is home to the world's largest collection of works by Vincent van Gogh. We're talking over 200 paintings, 500 drawings, and 700 letters. It's like stepping into a starry night, literally. Ever stood in front of an abstract painting and thought, what on earth is this supposed to be? Well, you're not alone. Here you'll find pieces that might look like a tangled mess of colors and lines, but they're actually profound masterpieces. Just imagine, you're not just looking at blobs of paint, but witnessing the inner workings of Van Gogh's mind. Intriguing, isn't it? This is the place where you can encounter the raw emotion, the vibrant colors, and the innovative techniques that have made Van Gogh a legend in the art world. So get ready to channel your inner artist, and remember, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Up next is Jordaan, Amsterdam's most charming neighborhood. Picture this, quaint houses stacked side by side like a colorful Lego set, lovely canals reflecting the soft glow of the setting sun, and trendy boutiques that seem to call out to you from every corner. Yes, that's Jordan for you. This neighborhood is not just about its picturesque beauty, it's also a paradise for shoppers and foodies. Every street is brimming with unique shops and cozy restaurants, each one more inviting than the last. It's like a never-ending game of eeny, meeny, mini, mo, trying to decide where to dip into your pockets next. Whether it's that irresistible vintage dress or the mouth-watering aroma of Stroop waffles, everything in Jordan seems to conspire against your wallet. But don't worry, it's all part of the Jordan experience. So get your wallets ready because Jordan is all about shop till you drop. For the foodies out there, we present the Albert QIP market. This bustling market is a veritable smorgasbord of delectable delights and quirky finds. Imagine a place where the aroma of freshly baked street waffles mingles with the scent of exotic spices from far off lands. That's Albert Quip for you. Nestled in the heart of De Peep, this is no ordinary food market. It's the largest daytime market in Europe, boasting over 300 stalls. It's a kaleidoscope of colors, flavors and cultures. From Dutch cheese to Surinamese roti, from vintage clothing to fresh flowers, there's something for everyone. Now, Choosing what to eat here is a real challenge. It's like being a kid in a candy store, but the candy store is the size of a football field and the candies are world cuisines. So go on, indulge, sample and savor. Because let's face it, making decisions is hard and food is delicious. Remember, calories don't count when you're on holiday. And finally, we have the Rijksmuseum, Amsterdam's crown jewel. This grand dame of art is home to an impressive collection boasting over one million artifacts. From Rembrandt's Night Watch to Vermeer's Milkmaid, this place is brimming with masterpieces that could keep art enthusiasts entertained for weeks. But it's not just about the art. The building itself is a sight to behold. An architectural marvel inspired by the Dutch Renaissance, it's almost as if the museum was showing off. Just imagine a structure so magnificent, it's easy to forget you're in a museum and not a royal palace. Now here's a fun fact. With 80 galleries spread over four floors, it's quite possible to get lost in the Rijksmuseum. But hey, getting lost amidst centuries of art and culture doesn't sound like a bad deal, does it? So remember to pack your sense of adventure because the Rijksmuseum is an adventure of its own. Well, there you have it, folks, from the vibrant pulse of Dam Square to the quiet whispers of Kuchenhof Gardens. We've strolled the canal belt, peeked into Anne Frank's house, admired Van Gogh's strokes, Rome Jordan, haggled at Albert Suwip Market and soaked in the grandeur of the Rijksmuseum. Phew, quite a list, isn't it? And that's just the tip of the tulip. So, pack your clogs and get ready to be amazed. Remember, Amsterdam is not just a city, it's an experience. So, when are you booking your ticket?